Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mike Kelly, realillusionforum.com. You can also email me at mike at kellytown.com. That's K-E-L-L-E-Y.com. That's actually the best way of getting a hold of me anytime. I will be happy to answer you. And if you don't get an answer, you either have the wrong email address or you have me in your junk file. Okay, so a user today asked about this particular outfit, this is, uh, I don't even remember what this outfit is, but it's its an outfit that does what a lot of outfits do sometimes in Daz, which is hide uh, the, the bottoms or parts of, of the figure. So you'll look, if I take the pants off here, you'll notice this figure's uh, bottom has been cut off. They've, they've hidden those meshes, and the same thing for the boots. There's no, uh, there's no bottom portion of this. So if you try to export this and bring this into... Uh, character creator, it will complain and say that there's no figure that it can't find. I think we've shown that in the past. And we've also shown in the past that the way around this is to drag another figure in there. So if we go to Documents, whoops, Downloads and Documents, and we go to the Genesis 3 female, what we do is we take this female and drag it into there. And by putting another character in there and then exporting it, that's usually the workaround for that. Now, it doesn't really work in this case very well, and the reason it doesn't work uh, is that the figure that we're importing in, usually when you just drag and drop another Genesis 3 female, it lines up perfectly with this Genesis female that's already there. For some reason, that doesn't work. Uh, I'm not quite sure why. People always ask me questions about Daz, and I have to admit, I'm not a Daz expert. I really don't understand Daz much at all. Uh, all I know is character creator. But in, in this case, when we drag and drop uh, an, another Genesis 3 female, just like we started with this first female, Magniflex, uh, we're going to import it in, and that's with that other Genesis 3 female that we've just dragged and dropped into Daz. And we'll think about it for a while and make sure that the, the figure matches. We've done this before. Uh, comes in, we always uncheck the Genesis 3 female. We don't want two of them. That's that one that's got parts that are hidden. So we don't want that one. So we bring it in, and as you'll see, the uh, textures and the um, materials for this outfit uh, will not line up with this character. And in the past, what we've done to get around that is to uh, go ahead and repose the figure a bit and bring it in, and it's it's really kind of a drag, a workaround. I kept trying to think of if there was a better way to do this. You can see, so the gloves don't fit here. Uh, this this shirt thing doesn't fit. You can so you can see if you can lower it down. So it's it's a bit of a mess. So we don't want to do that. So if, and here it is. Finally, that figure came in. You can see that that Genesis three female doesn't match up to that one. So what do we do to get around this? Well, again, I'm no Daz expert, but what I did was I selected the Genesis three female, and then I went up here to File, and I went to to uh, Save As, and I saved it as character preset. So I saved it out with the figure and the shape options. So you can see that figure comes in and matches up perfectly with that other figure. So you can see now that that figure is there. And that particular figure, if, you, if we hide the uh, pants, that actually has all the parts to it. So now we can go ahead and export this whole thing into character creator. Bring in our transformer. And there it is. And when we do this, we will actually get uh, everything all lined up properly. So that's the trick, is you take your, your Daz figure and you uh, save it as a character preset. Uh, make sure you have, and then again, we're going to uncheck. the. We don't want that old one in there. Uh, bring it in this way. And uh, I didn't actually, yeah, see, there you go. So everything fits, and you can see that it all fits that way. And... Um, so that's, that's how to do it.